Howdy, for this video I'm going to show you how I add music from Synchroscape into my game for Foundry Virtual Tabletop. So back in November I purchased the Curse of Strahd bundle, I think it was like for chapters like 1 through 5, 1 through 4, for like 20 bucks when they had it for like Black Friday sale. And I really, really loved the sounds, I thought they were excellent, but I could never really find a good way to put them onto Foundry. So, you know, I, I played around, I looked up different modules, and I looked up to see if, you know, there's anything that allowed you to put them into the game. And I, I, I saw that there was one person made a module, but I couldn't really figure out exactly how to get it to work. And so I found just pretty much my own way of uh, work around. So pretty much what I use, I utilize Bandicam, because when you record a video, you can actually have it create the video file as well as a separate audio file that creates it in like a wave format um, so that's pretty much what I usually do so I will have Synchroscape up and running I'll turn my bandy cam on I'll record you know however long I'm gonna record for so like I might do like four or five minutes for like kinda like background noise and then once I do that then I'll upload that into Foundry so for example so I'll record uh, just a quick little chat scene like with a person talking and then I'll do a small little bit of a just like background volume I can't smell your blood. <laughs> okay and then I'll do one of uh, something in the background I'll record a few seconds of this Alright, so once I do that, then I'll stop this so that way it doesn't keep playing forever while I'm doing this. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go into my Bandicam folder where it's saved, and I'll close these two out. So I have my Bandicam folder already opened. So with this one, when it does record things, it'll just put them in for whenever you recorded it. So this is the first folder, so this was the, uh, was a Doru, and I'm just going to say Dung Doru, uh, I'm just going to do like Hungry and then I'll do this one. I'm gonna name this one uh, like church sounds. All right, so once I'm done with that, I usually delete these uh, the MP4 videos because I don't want them to get uh, mixed in. So once I do that, I'll take these two and I will copy these and I will go into my Foundry directory. So I already have it, I'm already in it right here. So what I'll do is I'll create an audio folder like this and then I'll usually break them up into several categories and I'll usually do multiple folders. So I'll do a new folder. So we'll do, uh, let's do church. And I will add the two files that I just made into here. And now let's open up Foundry, get the music in here, and we'll go from there. So for this one, I'm not really going to show you how to put it onto a scene because this world, I was just showing you how to actually import it onto Foundry. But I am going to make a video here and uh, soon showing you, you know, where to place the sounds, how to do it in different ways using, you know, global sounds and using local sounds, especially things with like fires and things like that. So now that we're in Foundry, I'm going to go to the uh, playlist tab. So we're going to uh, create a playlist. So we're going to call this uh, church. And here we're going to uh, do a bulk import, which is one of the new things that you get with 0 0.83. And I just started playing around with the beta with it today. So I'm going to go to my worlds folder. I'm going to go to my test and I'm going to go to my audio and I'm going to click on the church folder. Once it's you see it in this bracket, that means it has everything in here. And uh, I will select this folder and I will update the playlist. So let me uh, make sure my volume isn't too loud so it doesn't uh, blast your eardrums out and then we will play uh, some of the new sounds that I just added. All right, and then we'll do the uh, church sound for a second as well. Don't want it to be too obnoxious. Okay, that should be good. All right, so, but that's that's how I do it. That's how I've pretty much found a workaround to be able to get the sounds and music from Synchroscape onto Foundry. This works for me. If you have a better method, you know, do that. Um, this is just what I've been doing since, you know, I 
found a workaround, and I didn't like having the Sinkerscape player running while I was doing the game because it actually kind of gave me issues, and sometimes my players couldn't hear it all that well. And then I tried doing it through the Discord channel, and that didn't really work very well because I don't actually use the chat function with Foundry when we're playing our games. But this is what works for me, and it's been working really well so far. I just want to kind of show you how I do it. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to help you. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.